can anybody lend me their iPhone for a moment? Anybody have one? That, great. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have one. And I've really wanted to have one. <laughs> uh, where do most of your dollars go when you buy an iPhone? What do you think? Let's go. Let's do the bidding. A little over 700 of you have these clickers, which is great. Uh, you say mostly to the United States. Some of you say to China. And then uh, some of you say, a few of you say Japan. Uh, 11 of you think Germany. <laughs> well, here's where your dollars go. Most of your dollars are going to Japan. Some of your dollars are going to Germany. In fact, Germany is the biggest, is the second biggest one. South Korea is the third. And here, 6% of your dollars are going to the United States, and only 3.6% of your dollars are going to China. Now, it's assembled in China. Do you get this? It's assembled in China. But the assembly is of pieces from all over the place. Everything is coming from everywhere. I want my students to see it's not just cost of wages or labor, it's also which country's workers add what value. My Mini Cooper is made by a foreign company, but where a company is headquartered means less and less in this new global economy. Technologies like cargo ships, containers, satellite communication technologies, and eventually, computers and the internet, these technologies enabled the production process to be parceled out around the world. Large numbers of American manufacturing workers began to lose their jobs, which meant it inevitably began undercutting the wages of a lot of working Americans. Even factories remaining in the United States shed workers as they automated You know, we, we have this romantic idea that we can get manufacturing back, but you get manufacturing plants back and they're filled with robots and computers. The old assembly line is gone.